In this episode, we talk about real estate investing and why it's one of the best side gigs you can have. Persinger of Persinger Group Real Estate. Welcome to the Inside Real Estate Show where we give you the insight behind the real estate information, giving you the analysis and the advice to make smart home buying, home selling, and real estate investing decisions. And that's going to be the main topic today. I haven't really talked a lot about real estate investing on the Inside Real Estate Show yet. But a couple of conversations that have happened recently with some great friends um, has led me, has inspired me to talk about real estate investing today. But before we get into that, let's do the number of the day. The number of the day. 78%. 78% of NFL players within two years after retirement are bankrupt. Almost 80% of NFL players within two years after retirement are bankrupt. And I bring that number up today because I think it plays well with the topic today of real estate investing, of having that side gig, of having that side hustle going on. Because we live in this great time that in the world, in the universe today, where it's easy to have a side business, to have some sort of side gig going on besides your nine to five job. Because we have the technology uh, at our disposal sitting at home. It's easy to create websites. It's easy to have merchant accounts. There's websites, uh, there's services that exist out there that do the merchant account stuff for you. Uh, so first, I would just recommend this book by Gary Vaynerchuk, Crush It why now is the time to cash in your passion. So that's one thing that I wanna give you today, one uh, book recommendation, because I just want that thought process to exist out there uh, that, and you, you probably already have that if you're watching or listening to this show, that you want to put some extra money into your pocket. And it's really important because 78% of NFL players are bankrupt within two years. So it's not about how much money we can make in a short amount of time. It's about how we manage that money and the way that we earn that money, the way that we're able to make that money. Technically, NFL players are em employees and when they retire or when they, you know, technically no one wants to hire them anymore, but it's a nice way to say retire. When no one wants to offer them a job anymore, uh, how else are they going to make that money and they have this lavish lifestyle now? So it, it's a way to look at how do you continue to bring money in in case no one wants to hire you anymore, right? So that's what why I think it plays well with the main topic today of real estate investing. Uh, before we get into the main topic, a little bit of housekeeping to do. Housekeeping! I want to give you two websites uh, to check out. One, if you're local, go to snowholelife.com where we give you updates about things that are going on in the community here in Snohomish County. So if you're looking for things to do, uh, timely activities, things that are maybe coming up this week or in the weekend, check out snowholelife.com. And if you're watching or listening to the show anywhere else, uh, I want you to, or if you're local, it doesn't really matter. So just everyone else now, uh, go to thisisthelifeshow.com where we give you a little inside peek of what our life and what our business is like here at Persinger Group. And we just did um, a little Utah adventure where we went down and visited our new niece, Ruby, and I packaged the whole week up into one video. It's a little long, but most of the videos are six to 10 minutes long. And it's an inside peek if you're wondering what the life of a real estate broker is really like, because you might think it's like what you see on Million Dollar Listing or one of those reality TV shows where all we do is network and look at expensive homes or inexpensive homes, maybe just you know moderately priced homes. 
that's like 5% of what our day exists as a real estate broker. So check out thisisthelifeshow.com. Now getting into the main topic. Let's go. Why real estate investing is a great side gig to have. So this conversation was inspired by a couple of friends that I have talking about what they want to do um, to start a side gig to have a, a, their own business going besides their, their normal 9 to 5, 40 hour, 50 hour a week job that they have. And one of the things that I thought was interesting to me is, you know, everything is transparent in today's world with Facebook, with social media. So you're, you're sharing something and a coworker sees it, or maybe your boss sees it, that you're trying to do something else. And they might be like, well, why are you spending time or energy doing that? You should be putting more time or energy into your, your job, into your career. And this was some of the things that are actually popping up for a couple of friends of mine. Uh, a couple of questions that happened from supervisors and managers about, hey, are you spending any of your time or our resources on doing that stuff? We want to make sure that you're, you're happy here, that you're putting in the time and energy that you're supposed to be putting in here at our business instead of going and trying to create your own business. And what I just brought up to them was, you know, real estate investing, I've never once heard a boss, a manager, a supervisor criticize real estate investing. When they hear that you're investing in real estate, that, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I got to go uh, paint my, my investment property. I have to go get carpet installed in my investment property. I have to go show my investment property. I've never heard of a boss, a manager, or a supervisor getting upset or annoyed with that. But if, if you were asked, what do you do this weekend? Oh, I'm gonna spend some time um, on my other business that I have, on uh, meeting some new clients, some having some appointments with potential clients on this side gig that I have. Managers and supervisors might get a little annoyed with that. That's one of the greatest things about real estate investing besides the financial benefit of it the long-term financial benefit of it, it's just not frowned upon. It, it's a great way for you to be open with what you're doing to get a lot of support from everyone around you and still make some money. So I just wanted to bring that out, that if you're, you, this, this topic is really about if you're looking for a side gig, if you're looking for a side thing to earn some income on, but you're not sure what you're passionate about. Do you start a blog? Uh, do you start uh, manufacturing um, products that you can sell on a website like a Etsy or whatever it is? If you're not sure what it is, I want to just leave you with that idea, that one specific idea of how positive people look at real estate investing and you're never going to get really critiqued on that. Um, someone's not going to that you work with is someone's not going to criticize you for investing in real estate. So if you're not sure what your passion is, uh, you know, for me, investing in real estate is easy. I'm passionate about real estate. For my wife, Catherine, her passion is real estate. So investing in real estate is a no brainer for us. But I just want to maybe uh, inspire you, motivate you to look at real estate investing if you never have as a great opportunity as a side gig that um, you're going to get support and you can get some nice cash flow plus your principal going down. And I just want to give you two book recommendations uh, to get started with that idea, okay? If you want to learn more about real estate investing. First book recommendation, The Millionaire Real Estate Investor by Gary Keller. This book is a nice blueprint, even though it is blue, it's a nice blueprint for real estate investing. But what I really like about it is it goes into the mindset of um, giving you a bigger mindset of what real estate investing really can be about and why you want, you know, I, I guess one of the big things that Catherine and I both take away from this book is the idea of investor versus consumer. So there's just a lot of great mindset stuff in this book. And that's why I recommend starting off with that one. And then another book that I recommend 
on more of the strategy and the tactical approach is this book called Hold, How to Find, Buy, and Rent Houses for Wealth. Um, and there's a bunch of different authors involved in this one. And quick story about the idea of hold. When Catherine and I were going and visiting uh, her doctor while she was pregnant with Morgan, the doctor asked us, what do we do for a living? Oh, we sell real estate and we invest in real estate. And she's like, oh, are you like that couple on uh, HGTV, like the flip or flop people? Um, and I get maybe why that's a decent comparison, but we're like, no, we're buy and hold. That if you were to make a TV show about our real estate investing, the TV show would have to go on for 20 to 30 years to see anything that's too exciting about it at the end. And that's why you don't see a lot of TV shows, if any really, about just straightforward real estate investing of buy and hold and create wealth because it's just not sexy the way that the flip or flop is that you make all your income at one time or maybe you lose a bunch of uh, revenue and profit all at one time. So it's just not great entertainment, the idea of buy and hold. But in a future episode, maybe it will be the next episode, maybe it'll be a couple episodes out, I wanna talk about the biggest mistakes that you can make when either getting started with real estate investing or as you're buying your first couple of properties, the biggest mistakes that you have. But I don't wanna overload you with too much information right now. I just wanna give you this idea that real estate investing can be a great side gig. So always remember that home is what you make it. Make it someplace you love.